Yep. City for Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. There's multiple venues, multiple designers. Uh, there's shows every hour. Ukraine Fashion Week is one venue, and they rotate the designers one after another. It's just a little break. Um, you know, I've been to Fashion Weeks all over the world, and nothing has yet compared to the New York Fashion Week. It's like the golden grail of Fashion Weeks all over the world, and the fashion capital. I think the biggest contributing factor to that is um, the revenue that can be generated as a result of designers showing their collection in New York because the people have the money and the buyers come from all over the world to New York City, right? Um, so in comparison, when, when you think creativity, I think leaving Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week and coming to Europe, there's a tremendous amount of creativity in the fabrics and the cuts. For example, Joanna, who's the designer in showcase tonight, I was looking at her dress and the stitching and the fabric to touch it. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. so uh, much. I, I, I was following uh, your interview, Joanna, and you've been uh, 
her, touching her, like she's beautiful. Doing the whole bloody interview. <laughs> you do it in America. <laughs> is it legal? Uh, I don't know. Maybe yeah, it's no. considered sexual harassment. But it's Ukraine. Hey, there's no sexual harassment in Ukraine. I gotta pay someone off. I don't know. Is there sexual harassment in Poland? Um, never. Thank you so much. Very <laughs> um, nice to meet you. That's the legend, you know, pierogies. Pierogies, yes, I like pierogi. And it's something new I tried. Yeah. Um, it was like rapa but Polish. Rapa but Polish. Yes. And even better, I went, okay, in New York City, there's a place called Green. Okay, Point. we have to finish my makeup smell. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have so much. It's actually beer with cinnamon that's yeah. warm.